Welcome to another video of Walk of the Wild Side and I am here in Blackpool. Check out the tower behind me. Um, I didn't think that there was a flag on the top but uh, there is actually but it looks a really really small flag that. Uh, it's not windy today by the way, it's a Saturday around about midday and I'm here in Central Car Park just outside the coach station here. We've got a National Express coach over there. Quite a few people in Blackpool um, this weekend, I think, I think it's Glasgow Fair, isn't it? Yeah. Now, I took a walk around the town on Wednesday evening this weekend. It was absolutely dead. Oh, my God. It was like a ghost town. So what I thought I'd do in this video is I'd come out on a Saturday midday and we'd take a look around the town and we'll see what it's like. It's actually looking pretty busy. I'll just turn the camera around and show you. So I am just here. Central car park. Well, that's the entrance over there from Central Drive. Now, of course, you can't get there into here. You can't get into here from the, the main road in because you've got this big lump in the way now. So you have to come round. But anyway, I tell you what, look at all these cars here. It is looking pretty busy. Look at this. Wow. It is pretty full in here. There's people coming in and then turning back round again because uh, there's no spaces. Nice puddle there for the, the seagull to take a, a bit of a bath. Yeah, so the, the new road, Yeadon Way, comes to an end right here and then you have to go into that car park or turn round. You can actually go inside the car park and come out if you want you can go through without having to pay and then you come out here and then you can come into this car park now there is a sign over here that says full but that's fallen over so i can still see people coming in and driving out but yeah it's uh, pretty stuffed in here let's have a little look at the tower show we just want to zoom in on that flag if i can i'm not sure if you can see that but that flag up there is tiny it's a really, really small flag, a lot, lot smaller than normal. Now, when I saw it from a bit further back when I was coming up here, I didn't even think there was a flag flying on the tower. Either that or I thought that there wasn't much wind and it wasn't showing up, but uh, there you go. So it does seem quite busy around here, certainly. And we've got a big coach over here, National Express, if you know. You go. Just here, Blackpool Council have got the uh, the plant pots, of course, to welcome people in the plant pots with the weeds. Yeah, welcome to Blackpool. <laughs> got some nice weeds in that one there. What have we got in here? Bit of chickweed. Chickweed there. I think there's a dock over there. Yeah, welcome to Blackpool. Oh, now then. This is interesting. I think this one's got nightshade in it. I think that's deadly nightshade in that one. How are we looking over the road on Central Drive? Well, some shops open. Tattoos, Central Tattoo, the new Central Tattoo. Just over here, we've got the rock shop. The rock shack. And then we've got Leo's Barbers. One of the many Turkish barbers. Just over there, we've got fish and chips. The Castle, a very popular football pub is the Castle. So if you come to Blackpool and you're watching football or if you're nearby, watching a match nearby, you might want to come here to the Castle. So we're just by the uh, these toilets here, which are look a little bit like a prison sorry i just had to break away there for a bit because it started raining but there's another couple of reasons um, i bumped into katie from the myers family vlogs if you want to follow them on youtube i'll put a link to their channel in the description but also um some guy came out of the back of those toilets there and and told us not to film him uh, not that i was filming him anyway but uh, 
Um, I think he was up to no good in the back because his toilet, you know those toilets over there? They're disabled at the back and some people have these keys to get in, a radar key or something like that. I reckon he was up to no good. Anyway, um, I'll just wait for this rain to clear off and then uh, we'll carry on. Uh, I've just been spotted again. We've got another coach here. George Edwards and Sons from Wrexham. I thought that might be from Scotland. Like I say, I think it is uh, Glasgow weekend this this weekend. Anyway, the rain is coming down a little bit and this camera I'm using is not waterproof, so uh, wish me luck. Well, it did have forecast for showers and uh, it started off so nice. It was all going so well. And now the rain is coming down, so... Oh, what a shame. Hopefully the sun will come back out again. OK, I'm back out again. Keep having to take cover because of the rain. It's not that I'm scared of the rain, but uh, the camera I'm using, a DJI Osmo Pocket Mark III, um, I, don't think I've wa I don't think it's waterproof. Yeah, so I tend not to to use it when it's raining or at least not when it's really really heavy but as you can see we're looking pretty busy aren't we the Palmer cafe over there there's loads of people in there yeah, I might get a video done at this rate <laughs> well I think you can tell already that it is looking pretty busy in Blackpool I'll see if I can get to the other side of town we'll take a walk through town and uh, we'll see what it's like shall we there's the McDonald's there Oh, by the way, the McDonald's, I always say look up in Blackpool, you know, look up above the shops. Because if you look up there, you can see it says the Edith Centre. Yeah. It's named after a woman called Edith, no surprise. I think she might have been the wife of the person who had the building, who had it built. It's quite a big building, actually. If you look down here, it goes down that way but I think that might have been a new extension or something down there the job centre's down there as well that used to be where Argos was who remembers Argos down there I was never out of Argos in the olden days I can hear a lot of music come from all over, I've just been in the Coral Island I met a couple in there from Kent so hi to you if you're watching loads of taxis here no one begging outside McDonald's, that's strange. There's the bridge to nowhere up there. Remember the bridge that used to go right across to the Palace nightclub and then down onto the prom? Well, that's what's left of it there, look. Oh, look at all these taxis here, wow. Do you remember CNA? CNA used to be round here, didn't it? Oh, it's pretty wet now. It's always someone outside shoes on. Must be a good spot that, mustn't it? I'll head straight down this way. What's going on over here? Oh, it, that'll be the, uh, the the pan pipe people, won't it? They probably had to. They probably had to cover up the stuff. They probably had to take a break because of the rain. So that's looking up, uh, I don't even know what the name of this road is, Adelaide Street, yeah? Towards the Hounds Hill. But anyway, we'll carry on this way, shall we? That doorway there used to lead to Sports Direct in the Woolworths building, but uh, Sports Direct moved to the Hounds Hill Centre. So I don't know what's going to go in there, but we're now down the back of the tower. Let's have a look, shall we? Ooh, look at that. There you go. So, it is pretty lively, which is good, because when I did that video the other night, on Wednesday night, it was pretty grim. It was raining. I hope Andy the Blind Busker's music doesn't flag up for copyright. <laughs> we'll have to see. Uh, oh, he's playing Abba. Oh. 
He gets around a bit, this fella. <laughs> so there you go, that's Andy, the blind busker playing in Blackpool. I wonder if we should have a look on the promenade. I took the quid in there for him, by the way. Let's have a look on the promenade, shall we? Almost got taken out by a taxi there then. Just coming onto the promenade. Let's see if we can make it across here. Oh! Is there anybody on the comedy carpet? Because there wasn't the other night. If you watch that video to the very end, the Wet Wednesday in Blackpool, I filmed the comedy carpet and they were playing a light pool show and there was nobody on the comedy carpet apart from me. So, uh, here's how it looks on a Saturday. What time is it now? About half past 12. Half past noon here in Blackpool, just after a rain shower. And here's a look at the tower from the front. So, I think we'll carry on, shall we? Now then, this is interesting. I've just spotted a couple of vintage trams. Check it out, just by the wedding chapel here and the Beach House Bistro. Look at this one here. Is that a brush car? Someone will let me know, won't they? 631, single decker. Blackpool Corporation Transport, JC Franklin Minst. Minst, general manager. The Reginald Dixon, that's who it's named after this one, yeah. He was the uh, the Wurlitzer player. Yeah, there you go. He played the Wurlitzer at the Blackpool Tower. Let's have a look at it from the front with the tower in the shot. The Reginald... Oh, that was motoring, wasn't it? The Reginald Dixon. Yeah. But just over here, this is not actually a Blackpool tram. It is now, but it's a Bolton car. Number 66. Look at this. You can't beat it, can you? You cannot beat the trams in Blackpool. Even when they come from Bolton. Look at that, you beauty. Bolton Corporation Tramways. Ah, it's a shop. Ah, so they're actually selling things on that tram. There you go. So if you want to buy anything, about the trams, the vintage trams here in Blackpool. I think that the depot is currently, um, it's not open, I don't know. I might be wrong. I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in Tram Town, if you're interested in having a ride on the trams, check the description. But this is Bolton 66, and it's actually acting purely as a shop here on the Blackpool Promenade. So I'm just headed back into the town centre again, that's Pappas. Pappas Fish and Chips. Just over there we've got Viva. Check out Viva if you're coming to Blackpool. Really good in there, you know. I filmed the air show from the, from the roof. This is Church Street that we're on now. This is probably the busiest, the busiest shopping street in Blackpool, this one. Let's have a little look down Bank High Street. Let's look in from the other direction. So look at the tower again. Yeah, so this is Church Street. Yeah. I'll tell you what. It's not looking too bad. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Do you come to Blackpool for your shopping? Because uh, I don't think it's ever been really strong on shops. Not as strong as Preston just down the road, but Preston's Preston, isn't it? I mean, Blackpool is, it's a resort, isn't it? It's got everything else. 
so you can come to Blackpool to do shopping and you can also have a bit of fun at the attractions there you go it's looking pretty busy we still haven't done anything with this uh, empty plot yet have they that's where the nail bar was oh, look at that there look you can still see some of the uh, the furniture in there as well and if you look up on the wall can you see what it says up there it says Clifton Arms Hotel livery and stables so we'll carry on up Church Street towards St John's Square how are you doing you okay oh it's starting to rain again it's starting to rain again oh dear oh. Oh, the rain's coming down again, folks. <laughs> so I'm just taking cover again. I'm looking towards what was the Chinese buffet. Had a bit of a reputation, that place, you know, the, the Chinese buffet. Closed down a couple of years ago due to uh, poor hygiene. So just over here, we've got the sea chippy. I went in there with a the map master. Yeah, check it out if you're coming to Blackpool. I'll tell you what, it's pretty busy here in St John's Square and they've got a big dance competition or something going on at the Winter Gardens. They've always got a dance competition going on at the Winter Gardens. This is St John's Church behind me, of course. It's called the Blackpool Church nowadays, yeah. The Blackpool Church. I wonder how long it took them to think that name up. Uh, but anyway, that was a little walk around Blackpool. I'm going to have to break it off now because it's chucking it down. And I can do with getting a waterproof camera to walk around with. I've never had a waterproof camera, unless you count my phone. Um, but I do like my DJI Osmo Pocket, so I'll have to look into that. Anyway, I hope you liked the video. If you do, hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos. And I'll see you again on the next one.